my name's Malin, and in this video, I wanted to talk about karma. Not the karma in the sense of payback, like, oh, you did something bad and then you trip over and then that's karma. But in the idea that you reap what you sow. And this is kind of what more karma was actually supposed to be. It's that your life circumstances, what you do, have an impact on your life. And there's a response to everything that you do, you know, there's cause and effects. The actions that you do sow seeds that you reap in the future. Um, so even if you think about now, like all of your past decisions and that have led you to where you are now. I mean, some of them were like kind of like life scenarios and that, but in general, you know, a lot of the decisions you've made have got you what you've gotten now. And you can kind of control that. And that's what kind of destiny is. It's choosing the actions that are going to give you what you want in the future. And that's kind of like giving you more of a direction. It's not saying, oh, I'm destined to be this. It's like, I'm doing the actions that will get me to, to this certain kind of spot that I want to be in. And then that is what destiny is, you know, like the actions that you take are going to lead you in a certain direction. Um, another thing that I thought about this was with regret. You know, like we can regret a lot of the things that we've done. And, you know, this is a hard thing to kind of accept. But I heard the other day I was working and there was this, there, there's a lot of elderly people that come in. And one of them was kind of saying how she felt like she stuffed up her life. And like she kind of regrets it and that. And I didn't think much of it in the moment because she wasn't talking to me. She was talking to someone else. I just overheard it. But after kind of thinking about it, I realized this lady is probably around 80 years old and she's four times as old as me. And she's having the same regret that I'm experiencing, but it's a whole different degree because she can't change much of her things. She can't, she doesn't have her youth. You know, she's at the end of her time. She doesn't have much time left. And I just realized like, oh shit, I have a lot of time. Like I'm still young and this is the power of youth having so much time. And that, you know, all these, even thinking like with this big span, you know, it's just like these little steps that are going to reach me towards these kind of points. You know, we like to think of the big kind of sexy changes that we make, you know, working out for two hours or something like that. But if you just work out regularly, you know, you go for walks, you eat fairly healthy, you're going to be setting yourself up pretty good, you know, and it's just kind of like these little things that kind of add up. And that you can kind of be wary of, you know, future wise thinking, like, what do I want in the future? Like, is this decision going to help me? Is this going to lead to where I want to be? And an another thing that I want to say is that action is only in the now. You know, we can think of the future. We can think of all the big plans. We can think of the goals and the things that w we want to be and where we want to go. But at the end of the day, we only live in this present moment. And all we can control is our actions and our movements in this present moment. And if we're wary of that, then we can kind of decide like, oh, what am I going to do? You know, like there's this saying that I hear some other people in like the self-help kind of space say, which I think is actually a good idea is just if something takes less than two minutes or five minutes, then, then go and do it right now. And Sometimes this is tough, but you know, if you just get through it, then it's kind of easy, you know, like it's just picking up something and then putting it away or putting a couple of dishes away or, you know, just little things like that, that can kind of make life a bit easier. So then when you're, when the next you comes along, when the next day comes along and you're there, you don't feel so bad because you have all of this stuff that you've just cluttered and you've just heaped on yourself in the future and kind of set yourself up for bad karma. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.